There have been over 320 large-scale epidemics in China between the Eastern Han Dynasty and the Qing Dynasty, approximately 2,000 years. And as a result, much of China's herbal medicine developed to counter pandemics. As of late February 2020, more than 85 of all patients with the coronavirus, approximately 60,000 people, received herbal treatment along with Western medicine interventions in four pilot studies from integrative hospitals in China. A formula called Qingfei Baidu Tong, which translates to clear the lung and eliminate toxins, was used to treat 214 confirmed cases with three days as a course of treatment. The total effective rate was 90%. The improvement was significant and 30% of patients did not experience a worsening of symptoms after the administration of the formula. These preliminary findings are encouraging, but larger-scale studies are needed to reach stronger conclusions. COVID-19 is mutating, which may complicate matters even further. The virulence and transmission will shift over time in ways which we cannot predict. New evidence suggests that there are roughly two different groups of COVID-19, which may explain why initial reports from Wuhan described a slightly higher mortality than some more recent case series. In terms of pathophysiology, the coronavirus causes uncontrolled or dysfunctional immune response leading to an overproduction of immune cells and their signaling molecules. And this results in a cytokine storm uh, with a flood of immune cells entering the lung. These symptoms include the severe inflammation, the shortness of breath, uh, inflammation of the airway, and finally acute respiratory distress syndrome and eventually possible multiple organ failure. Along with the hyperinflammatory process, the lung, actu- um, the lung suffers actual physical injuries such as alveolar damage. Now, some lab results have been significantly associated with worse clinical outcomes, such as uh, lymphopenia, which is an abnormally low white blood cell count at the time of admission. Now, in fact, a retrospective analysis of 150 patients from Wuhan, published in the Journal of Intensive Care Medicine, leukopenia was seen in approximately 80% of patients. In fact, Yupeng Fengsan, or the Jade Windscreen Formula, has been shown to alleviate leukopenia in patients undergoing chemotherapy. And this demonstrates that it's a viable option in strengthening the immune function. In a 2014 study from the Hong Kong University of Science and Technology, cultured macrophages were treated with herbal extracts and revealed the unique dual properties of Yuping Feng San, the jade windscreen formula, in modulating the immune system by also inhibiting inflammatory cytokines. Now, a main component of Yuping Feng San is Huangqi, or astragalus root, and this is an immunostimulant. The administration of Huangqi has been associated with the promotion of immune T-cells, and the polysaccharides from Huangqi, astragalus, have also been shown to activate B-cells. These are the major cellular components of our adaptive immune system. In a study published in the Journal of Alternative and and Complementary Medicine, Researchers looked at the effect of the Yuping Fengsan Jade Windscreen Formula on hospital care workers during the SARS epidemic in Hong Kong. Two groups from 11 hospitals in Hong Kong were selected, and in one group, comprising of 1,063 workers, the formula was administered for a two-week period. Now, these workers were compared with another group, who did not receive the herbal formula, 36,111 people. And the researchers found that after the two-week period, no workers from the herbal formula group contracted SARS, compared to 0.4% in the other group. Now, this is a statistically significant difference, and this indicates that we can have a strong confidence that the herbal formula had a protective effect. Now, among the 1,063 healthcare workers who took the herbs, 19 had minor side effects such as loose stool, sore throat, dizziness, and nausea. Now, all powerful medication comes with side effects, and those who are exposed to the virus may choose to endure mild symptoms in order to prevent contracting 
the much worse disease. We should note that while the SARS virus is similar to the COVID-19 virus, the novel coronavirus is still different. And another word of caution, patients with autoimmune diseases or patients that have had organ transplants and taking immunosuppressant drugs should not take a formula that boosts their immune system. Another fascinating prospect is an herb called Wubetsa, which contains powerful compounds uh, shown to exhibit prominent anti-SARS virus activity. Now, these natural molecules bind avidly to the surface spike proteins of the SARS virus, SARS-CoV-1, that is, and thus interfered with the entry of the virus into its host cells. Just like its SARS relative, the novel coronavirus is named for the crown-like spikes on their surface. On March 3rd, 2020, Anthony Fauci, the director of the National Institute of Allergy and Infectious Diseases, announced that the vaccine for COVID-19 won't be deployed for at least 1 to 1.5 years. In addition, the administration of antiviral medication is particularly problematic in light of the pressures on the healthcare infrastructure. Retrospective data from SARS suggests that earlier treatment may be more effective than reserving therapy until severe organ failure occurs. This is consistent with data from influenza that suggests a finite treatment window occurring relatively early in the disease course. Therefore, patients are better served by seeking out treatment early, but in so doing will present additional strain on the healthcare infrastructure already stretched very thin. Given these challenges, integrating forms of medicine, such as Chinese herbal medicine, may help alleviate suffering and save lives by potentially protecting caregivers and healthcare staff, as well as addressing the milder forms of the presentation in order to prevent a worsening of symptoms and potentially free up life-saving resources for those in critical conditions. Finally, in an interview with Science Magazine on March 27, 2020, the head of the Chinese Center for Disease Control was adamant about the use of non-pharmaceutical strategies because, in his words, you don't have specific inhibitors or drugs and you don't have the vaccines. Thank you so much for watching. If you found this information useful, please share with one friend who might also appreciate this content.